Probably. Okay, so the next uh, Colossus we got to take down is actually it's actually a really cool fight. This one, um, it's Kuro, he's called Kuramari, and he is a Komodo dragon. Sounds more like a delicious snack. I'll take some Kuramori with some red bean paste. <laughs> now this this is one of the classes you can die on, like eat really easily. How come? He has a fire breath attack that just destroys your health bar. Oh, lame. Fucking fire breath attacks. Not as bad as lightning breath, but still pretty high up there in lameness. <laughs> Dan's just like uh, gargoyle flashbacks. I didn't even realize that the gargoyles in Analondo actually breathe lightning instead of fire. Really? Yeah, they do. No, One no, of the... I, no, I knew that. I just meant you didn't realize. Like. Yeah, I know. They never apparently got a chance to do that until recently, but I dodged it by chance. I was like, huh, that's a thing. All right, now it's dead. And then it dropped all three of its gargoyle that's items at way. once, and I'd also cut off the tail. Hooray. Incidentally, you know how like, I, I've been yelling to my horse when I need him to go close? You can also do that to get the attention of the Colossus. Instead of like shooting them with a bow, you can <laughs> use the, you like, just whistle hey, at them. Hey, idiot! No, no, you don't yell, you whistle at them. Oh, okay. It'd be great if your horse came at the same time as like, what, is this a bad time? Uh, this one isn't too much of a travel either. It's literally through this canyon and no left. Although I say it isn't too much of a travel, but it's like, when you start doing it, you're just like, oh crap, this place is actually quite big. <laughs> the, the scale is just... I just, I don't know, it's it's something I'm always really impressed with every time I play this game. It's like, stuff doesn't look that far away, and then you realize it actually, like, you're just like, oh wait, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought, and that's actually quite far away. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a really, really cool trick of concept. It's like when people show like videos of the Grand Canyon and things like that. Like, as a perspective, it's like, well, you don't understand until you're really there. Most people go, yeah, yeah, I don't get it. And then they, I hear from people who've gone there, like, yeah, I didn't really fucking get it at all. <laughs> yeah. I've never been to the Grand Canyon. I've been in the area before, but I've never gone to the Grand Canyon because Vertigo and Scared of Heights. Screw that yeah, shit. Yeah, same. Fuck that noise. Yeah, seriously, the people who go on the glass bridge thing, you guys are crazy. Just nuts. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> Maybe if I was being offered, like, lots of money. And if I'd gone to the loo beforehand. Uh, man. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much here. It's just in this cave. It's where we need to be. Like you can't, and this is a, I, this is another point where I just get off aggro. I mean, you can ride aggro across this, but it's like because it's so windy and treacherous. Like he tends not to go very fast. So that just, he's really derpy, so you might just end up plummeting off the side. Or does no, he aggro aggro can't fall off a cliff. Like he won't. He is fucking immortal. He refuses. Ha! <laughs> you think you can kill aggro, you fool? I mean, you can technically ride aggro all the way up to just about here. I think, yeah, because of the water. This is pretty much where he can't go any further. But it's just, it's just, in my opinion, much quicker to run it. Instead, this is one of my favorite places in Shadow of the Classes. I just love this sort of, like, hidden temple in this basin. It's, like, really tranquil. It's kind of awesome. Hey, just look at that side. So cool. It is pretty fucking beautiful. And of course, where we need to go is inside the temple. The hell was that under the water? I've never seen anything else in the water. There was definitely something in there, though. It was an eel. <laughs> I've never seen eels before. Eels up in Sarja! <laughs> Good old mighty beast. He's the itcher. What I think is cool about this temple is like it seems for like like you go into it, it's like it seems really small, like from the outside. And then you keep going and it's just like, oh, this 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 is quite big. No, I need my sword, I think. Okay. Do a little bit of uh climbing to get to where we need to go. There we go, I finished eating, so now I can have my mic on properly without toggling like a pain in the ass. Excellent. Look at you go! 
You see, I'd be sh I'd be the worst at Shadow of the Colossus ever because I am that kind of clumsy player that fails at doing these things. Like when it comes to doing combat, really not that bad at it. When it comes to figuring out puzzles and shit like that, I'm also okay. It's like you've got to do a basic jump, but I'll fuck it up. Yeah, it's like it's like all of my characters also experience vertigo for me instead. It's really weird because like it's it's like literally this game is like your nemesis because it's like it's platform fighting. It is. You're fighting your fucking platform. Like, as a concept, actually, I can really get behind that, because fuck platforms, but, you know, it's difficult. I can't, I would be the worst at this game, because it's just stuff that I can't do. I mean, I can't make it through fucking Sense Fortress. Incidentally, this is, uh, this is the, the arena. Hmm. This is a really cool fight. Uh, we don't want to start it right up on the top floor, though. We want to go, not all the way to the bottom, but, like, you know, mid floors down. Are you actually able to start it from the top, though? Yeah, you can. It's just really stupid. Why? What, like, well, how does he actually operate then? He climbs on the walls of the arena, and you need to basically you, the idea is you he, you get him to climb up, you knock him off, then you that he lands on his back and his sigils on his stomach. So basically, you have to, when you knock him off, you have to get down as quickly as possible. So starting at the top is really dumb. Yeah, I think he can't do the plunging attack of that. Oh, dude. There is a plunging attack in this game, but it's a little awkward. Oh, <laughs> color me fucking surprised. Has he spotted us yet? He might have spotted us. This guy's pretty aggressive as well. No, not yet, actually. I'm gonna give him a whistle. There we go. Now he knows. Now we know. Now we know. Take one of his legs out and take the other. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get him to fall off. I think he has two sigils on his stomach, if I remember correctly. Man, your character does not give a fuck about falling. Nah, he doesn't. I take it you can hold down that jab for as long as you wanted to, then. Yeah, you can see it charging up on the grip meter. Like, next time I do it, I'll watch the grip meter. Yep. We took out one of the sigils, pretty much. Yep, now he's peeing black. You stabbed his sigil urethra. It's not cool. We just need to be cool, really dude. careful for his fire breath. It's pretty much the mo the only dangerous bit of this fight is the fire breath. Let's get his attention again. I mean, he can also shoot lasers. That's that's also a thing he can do, but... Yeah, but you can shoot lasers as yeah, well. Yeah, there they go. Yeah. See the orange smoke? That's the fire breath. Like, if you walk into that smoke, your health just drains. Get plummets. Yikes. It's essentially plague. Where's he climbing up? I think he's climbing up this side. Cool. This guy Ooh. this guy really isn't particularly hard, but he's kinda cool. I like him. Lunging attack! No. Also, like, he really doesn't thrash much either because obviously he's on his back. He's like a turtle! Shit. Ah, oh, it's annoying. You have to do it again, aren't you? Yeah, I'm kind of underneath him right now. Ah. <laughs> uh. I am closer to this thing than I would like to be right now. Especially if he starts filling this uh, place I'm running through with uh, fire smoke, then I'm screwed. Oh yeah. That would suck. I can definitely finish him next time. It's really annoying like, I didn't get another hit in, but... It's not a big deal. Just get his attention by shooting him in the leg. Oh good, he's going for the climb. I was worried that he was going to um, like go for a ranged attack instead of climbing up the wall. Oh, here he is! Shit! Oh god, that was close. God, that's brutal. Ooh, fuck! See what I mean? Like, how, how quick he did my health plummet like, for the short amount of time I was in that.
And that's uh, that guy down. Whatever his fucking name was, that guy. It's Kuramari. The delicious. And that's that's officially halfway. That's eight of sixteen colossus down. Ooh. Which I think might mean a cutscene. There is another cutscene at some point. I guess on this one. If it's cutscene, I'll mute Skype and everything, but... Yeah, sure thing. Well, I can just not talk, because it'll only be me in there anyway. Yeah. Seven defeated. We're not going bad two hours, and we've done half of them. Yeah. Cutscene time, so... 